Hello everybody and welcome back to another Monster Hobbies a Model Car Garage Model Car Show and Shine. My name is Trevor Slescu, of course, owner of Monster Hobbies. And today's Model Car Show and Shine is based off of this 1936 Ford five window coupe. Now, I've done this one in the model car review, which you can see, of course, up above in the link that's going to fly across. And uh, today's model, though, I built from the earlier version of that kit quite a while ago. I think possibly the first version that came out, although I do think the Dick Tracy one might have come out first. But anyway, here we have our 1936 Ford five window coupe with the operating rumble seat. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go down to my bench and see how I built this amazing model. Here we have our 1936 Ford five window coupe by AMT Ertl. This of course was a modification of the original three window coupe convertible kit that came out back in the day. It's not a very bad looking model car. There are a few weird things that I did, like painting this area all gloss black when I should have matched it to the car color. The rumble seat does open, just like that. And we've got a Super Ford license plate on here as well. To me, a clear red for the tail lamps. The entire model was spray painted with Tamiya gloss blue, and I'm not really happy with the uh, to me a paint here because over time a lot of dust got stuck into the paint finish and it I tried to wax it and that just sort of absorbed the wax <laughs> the tires here were painted again with the spinner and these aren't the original AMT tires that are in here I've switched them with some later model AMT tires which were a little more uh, pliable and easier to mount to the rim. So now we can show you some pictures of underneath the hood on this amazing model. Looking down on our 1936 Ford, we can open up the hood here. You just got to hold the fenders down. And there it is. As you can see, it's our 60 horsepower Ford flathead engine. Painted again in that tester's green color. Little black air cleaner on the top, chrome intake manifold, our generator you can see there, and our radiator. And the hoses for this actually do connect up to the radiator really nicely. The body and interior lock together. There's some tabs here that you can't really see. But again, ends up looking very nice overall and the fit and finish is perfect. Now if I just roll the car forward here, you can see the rumble seat. Now one thing about this, this was my first attempt at trying to get bare metal foil to go all the way around in a circle on a spare tire cover. And there are a lot of crinkles and creases all the way around. So I don't know if it's the best to try to do it that way in the future. Oh, one thing I don't like about the Tamiya paint is that it's still fairly soft. And where this uh, rumble seat opens, there is actually a cut mark along there where it connects to the bottom. So if we can just open our rumble seat up this way. Come on. There. Inside, I did spray the back seats with Tremclad Primer paint. Didn't paint up top here with the blue, but still ended up looking quite nice on the inside. Here we have the undercarriage of our 36 Ford. And I did paint this all gloss black under here for our running gear. The fuel cell is molded to the body pan. There's our uh, Ford rear axle with the torque tube going up in here and our support braces, as well as up in the front. These are again the wishbones. This is the stock ride height axle. And as you can see, you got your green engine underneath there. Sanded down the seam lines, made it all nice. Uh, one thing, this is <laughs> where the dust did not hit the Tamaya paint. And you can really see the high gloss under here. 
Whereas, whoops, on the top of the body, you can't. There's our exhaust pipe going out through here. I do believe this is molded to the chassis pan. So I had to paint it, you know, going down and whatnot. Trying not to hit the bottom of the floorboards. Overall, though, I think I did a pretty nice job under there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at our 1936 Ford five-window coupe with the operational rumble seat. <laughs> now, if you've built this model before, let us know down in the descriptions below how you enjoyed building it. I know there is a stock custom and drag race version that was included in the kit instructions and model kit parts. So if you've used those, let us know and tell us all how you like it. So tune in next week as we're going to be taking a look at some other model cars on my shelf. And until then, everybody, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is, it, we are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account, like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.